solving education is not just solving education, it's kind of solving everything. You know, if you care about AIDS in Africa, if you care about poverty in the inner city, if you care about the environment, whatever you care about, you care about education. It is the ultimate gateway problem. I absolutely believe that we need a revolution in education, and the good news is it very much appears to be happening. The history of the human race is really a history of education. Great moments in education have dominated the great moments in history. Out of the Industrial Revolution, we took what we learned about factories and processes and efficiencies, and we turned education to a giant assembly line system. You'd never build a system like the one we have today if you're building it from scratch. It's a crazy system. It's intuitive that not everybody has the exact same learning style and works equally well for each kid for each thing that they learn. Education is very, very slow to innovate, but when it does, two things happen. There's a kind of a Cambrian explosion of access, increased access, and also of improved quality simultaneously. I believe that we are on the verge of the next great jump, and that's going to be online education. If we can suddenly mine all of the data that you've always been producing when you, when you study, um, we can personalize education to you. We work with partners like publishers and schools, and we take their content, we make it adaptive. You get your own personal textbook. It's literally unique. It's created for you every single day. And within a couple of weeks, I know how strong you are at every single concept in the course, and I know exactly how you learn it best. If you learn math best in the morning between 8.13 and 9 a.m., I know that. If you learn science best in 24-minute bite sizes, I know that. It's pretty personalized. I mean, there is some belief that the education is not just one-on-one, -on -one, but you do collaborative learning. So kids learn from one another. You type a question into our system, our system can go and find everybody who's online right this second who absolutely knows the answer to that question. And then we ask that question to 15 people, it just pops up on their screen, and you get like the wisdom of crowds harnessed with this adaptive AI. We can't teach the higher level critical thinking skills, we can't build the imaginations, that's what the teachers do. Online education is not going to supplant traditional education, it's going to be a supplement to it. Now if you have a great teacher in the room with you, obviously that's better. Many people around the world don't. We want to expand education access as far and wide as we can and that very much includes in the developing world. Most of the price of a textbook is just wasted on paper and printing and shipping. So I believe we're on the verge of solving the access problem of the developing world. We're gonna power about a million students starting this fall in the United States, but very soon thereafter, we expect to start spreading all over the world. We wanna make sure education in the next decade or two becomes available to everybody anywhere on the planet. It could well be that the person who cures breast cancer is growing up in some Cambodian fishing village and will never be discovered. The world's best lecture notes on Hamlet might be sitting in some desktop in Dublin somewhere and shown to 30 kids a year. Well, we can actually unlock that trap value for the first time.